Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 2. Today we are tackling the final five levels of Far Future before we take on Zomboss with this giant green brain, ooh. Okay, so lots of interesting stuff. This has been one heck of a fun world and it doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon because we got this and then we have the Endless Mode in next episode. So, got a lot of cool stuff going on. But let's start with level 21 where we have Dave and Penny. You can now decide to launch one mower early now. Yeah, we got that last episode. Just press and hold a mower when the time is right. Sometimes that's the most straight logical thing to do. I don't know what he means by that, but okay. Uh, produce at least 5,000 sun and never have more than 16 plants. That's really challenging. But we'll do what we can. Definitely a twin sunflower combo with the potato mine and iceberg lettuce. Maybe we'll get the stallion yeah, out. I don't know how exactly worth it it'll be. I mean, actually, no. I don't think we need it. I'm, I'm thinking of not spending a certain amount of sun. So I think we'll be fine. Um, so definitely something like that would be good. And then maybe something like lightning ray to get ourselves built up in the beginning. Might be worth our while. Let's try this out. We'll see how it goes and hope for the best. I'm a bit nervous now. So we got the twin sunflower stuff ready to go. I'm definitely gonna set that up on the red squares because that could be a ton of sun. That'd be amazing. And then we can maybe just put a twin sunflower somewhere off to the side or something, I'm not really sure. But for right now, potato mine time. There we go, we need a little bit more sun if we wanna get the next twin sunflower. Ready, there we go. Now I can slow this down a little bit. Just trying to be ready for whatever ends up popping up and trying to take us out and stuff. And right now, I'm sort of mostly just focused on the Twin Sunflowers. If I can get them set up, we can get some major stuff going on. Because 5,000 sun is a lot. So, definitely have to work towards it. Ready, and go. Not bad. So, we got the four Twin Sunflowers. We're also the fifth one. I'm not entirely sure at the moment. I mean, for right now, it might not matter as much. Four Twin Sunflowers goes a long way. So, I think that we'll just start working on the Lightning Reeds. And like, maybe I could put it here. It's sort of a risky spot for it, but I think it might work out by the end of the day. We'll do a bit of that. So what I could do here if I wanted to, like I could, yeah, I can hold the lawnmower. You might have seen that in the bottom left. I can hold it for a certain amount of time, it'll go off. It's harder for those ones by the seed packets, for sure. Anyways, maybe I should have gotten a, oh, that might have been good, to have gotten, I don't know how this will work out. I hope I can get him, but it might have been too little too late for this guy. Should have maybe gotten a blubber, blover, whatever it is. Okay, there we go. Not too bad so far. But definitely I'll get some magnifying grass. Maybe just set up there. There we go. That should be pretty good. Okay. I'll get another one set up like that. I mean, our twin sunflowers are going to work right now. It's pretty good. And I think we'll just keep the magnifying grass on the, on the boost panels. And right now I don't have to worry too much about them. I can just mostly focus on everything else. But it's good to get one in every lane. Especially this one, because what happened there? Oh, I'm at my planning limit. I already forgot about that. Whoopsies. Um, let's freeze him. Can't believe I already forgot about the planning limit. Jeez Louise. Let's do that. There we go. So it says I, I thought the planning limit was 15. It was 16, okay. I mean, I'm not complaining about that. Uh, let's do this. Let's also do this. Get a ton of sun and start destroying these guys everywhere. Whoa, boy. This could be problematic depending on the, on how it turns out. Let's do this. So they give you one more so that you can, gotcha. Uh, let me place that there. This is crazy though. Oh my gosh. It's fun, but it's crazy. The magnifying grass strategies can always be a blast. But you actively have to be paying attention to every minute thing. So I think we're good to set up another one of these because I want to make sure we actually have enough sun for the, the requirement. That was 4,100. Okay, let's do that one. Not too bad. There we go, that thing's finally shut down. And we'll do another one of these. Because the more we do with the sunflowers, the more ammo we get. There we go, that was crazy. So it doesn't seem like it matters that we pick the sun up or not, it just matters that it gets produced. So that's the most important thing we got accomplished. 
Okay, we got plenty more sun if we need it, but for right now, we're looking pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna wait for our next huge wave before I use any sun on the magnifying grass, but I can at least use this here. Come on, let's get rid of this guy. One more. There it is, very cool. So we're really moving at the moment. I'm gonna do this, we're gonna activate this, and that should be pretty good. And I can just start firing off sun from every direction. That's working really well. Okay, let's get rid of this guy. I'm just trying to find out which one's the best to work on. Probably should have, I oh know I don't have any impeach. Never mind, we got it, that was amazing. Very, very cool. I'm glad that when I was at my limit, it didn't just end the game because I put one over the limit. It actually told me and stopped it. That that was, I appreciate that because I feel like in PvZ1 it would have missions like that and it would just end if you accidentally put one too many. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out the world log. Of course, we're trying to unlock the tile turnip. We'll get to it soon enough, but I just go through this way so we can avoid the ads. And let's see what's going on next. Hopefully something good. Ooh, more panels. This time they're sort of all grouped up. Plan your defense and defeat the zombies as per usual. So does that mean that we get pre-selected amount of sun? It does. Okay, so the interesting thing here is that there's a little bit of everything. We got the gargantuan mech, we have the cone mech, the helmet mech, the, the shield zombie, the jetpack zombie. It really is just about a little bit of everything. We're missing like the mech imps. But beyond that, it's most things. So I'm thinking... It's not a lot of sun to work with. I really don't think it's worth it to do laser bean too much. I think I would rather do citron. I definitely don't want to do magnifying grass. It would just be too circumstantial. I could certainly do some free stuff. Oh, I can't do free stuff. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Free stuff is canceled. That's sort of a shame. Um I got the infinite. I guess I could get that there just in case. And then maybe something like this, the Sunion. Hmm. So this might be silly. But doing something like that to me doesn't seem like that bad of an idea. And then also getting the infinites like that. And then let's see, can we get a full row of these guys? We can. And then I can do more lightning reads. I don't know if that'll be worth it, <laughs> but that's what we're doing, let's rock. Huh, this might be an awful idea. We'll have to see. It's only one wave we have to survive, but it's gonna be one heck of a wave, I'm sure of it. So lots of cone heads, but we can destroy these guys pretty quickly as you can see. And we have, you know, max amount of plant food. I'm gonna hold on for now before I decide what we're gonna use there. Oh boy, this is definitely a concerning situation. Got lots of zombies to destroy here. These bucket heads are almost done. Come on, keep going at them. Come on, there it is, awesome. This is tough. This is gonna take a lot of work. There's, there's some coins, I'll take those. Oh, you know what, I'm tempted to do something about that. This is where I really wish I could have an iceberg lettuce, but oh well. Oh no, it's down. Okay, that's good. That's a lot of bucket heads over there. I'm thinking that might be a problem. I think we might need to do this. Seems a little bit like overdoing it, but I really don't think so. There we go. Okay, so this is where things get problematic as well. I'm gonna do this, and that's our second to last blover that I can use. I can use one more blover. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do this. It wouldn't be too bad of an idea to do this for right now. But now I can't use any more plant food until we get to the huge wave. So maybe that was an awful idea. Oh, it's hard to say no, that's ruining everything. Yikes, okay. This strategy might not end up panning out, unfortunately. Oh no. Um, what are my options here? I could use a plant food. I could also try this out. Since I haven't tried this, let's try this now. No, don't destroy my lightning read, you jerk! Oh, that's the worst. 
Oh wow, it's fine, it's fine. Here we are, we're on the final wave right here. We can do a blow over, blow away most of the competition there. That's all I can do for now before more of these zombies come out. Once they come out a little bit more, I think we'll be fine. I can activate this here. Is that everybody? I think it is, so let's get to it. Nice. Okay, we're getting at them. The two clouds are doing their job pretty well, and we are good. So, seems like that intentional usage of the lawnmower definitely saved us some hassle there for sure. Very interesting. And did I still get five coins? I think I only got four. It'd be interesting if I got five coins. I don't think I did though. Anyways, we get a pinata that'll have another hundred corns. Coins, not corns. Four laser bean experience. Four uh, infinite experience, but not enough to get a level up anywhere. That's sort of a shame, but hey, another level done. Let's see what's going on in the next level. And we'll hope for the best, I guess. So, so far, so good. I think not this level, yeah, not day 23, but on day 24, we're sh we should be unlocking the next plant. Level objectives, never have more than 15 plants and spend no more than 2,250 sun. Hmm. That's gonna be really tough. Never have more than 15 plants and spend no more, the spending no more than 2,250 sun. We need to choose some cheap but very effective plants to make that work. So definitely go with the free stuff. Like what's the biggest bang for a buck? I, I still feel like it's lightning reed. I need to go walnut instead of infinite because, you know, cheaper. There's no, yeah, there's no, what's it called? Um, Jetpack zombies, I don't have to worry about the blover. So I'll do EM Peach, and we'll try to leave it at that and see how effective this ends. I feel like the Salias is not gonna work out. I feel like if anything, I know it might be a bit more expensive, but the Red Stinger, if we could try that, it's a very effective plant is the thing. So I'm thinking we will do a Sunflower there. We'll have to see how this works out. I'm very hesitant about the whole situation. Hmm. So I, I'm i hoping if I freeze him, instead of having to worry about uh, potato mine, I can more so worry about, oh man, that's gonna go away real fast. <laughs> it's gonna go away really fast. I'm gonna do a Red Singer right there. That's just, not very much sun is the problem. The 15, no more than 15 plants isn't that big of a deal. That's just like thir three lanes. So like I can do that part. But the rest of this is not gonna be very easy. <laughs> that's for sure. Like they're spending no more than that amount of sun is just gonna be crazy difficult. Like maybe even not a full row of red stingers. Maybe on only the red squares would have been smarter. Well, obviously if I dig up that red stinger, I don't think that's gonna get me my sun back. So for right now, I'll just keep it like that, I think. Oh no. This is actually a lot going on right away. Let me free some of these guys. Maybe do the EM Peach, just to get this figured out. I know, I don't like this. Uh, That should be fine. I'm gonna use some plant food just so I can get some extra sun. That was a good amount of sun. That's why I did it. Oh geez, we're in big trouble. <laughs> we are in so much trouble. Oh no, come on, you can get him. Don't you dare get that red stinger. Yes, okay, you guys got him. That's very good. So I, I think I'll have enough sun here to make this all work. Let's do this. Get through this huge wave. There we go, we have 725 sun left over. Probably gonna put one last lightning ring in the center. Actually, no, I should keep that space open so if I need the emergency EMP or something, I can have that. That'll be better. Oh my gosh, speaking of emergency impeach, there we go. So this is working out, but it's not working out very easily, it's crazy. Okay. There we go. It's just, it's so ridiculous, but I think we've got it mostly figured out here. I could do... I was gonna say I could do another um, impeach. I don't think it's entirely necessary just yet. Maybe soon. Well, let's go for it. There we go. Because we're about to hit our huge wave. So I can do this, get another plant food, and then get another one up here. And then get one of these going on. 
Wow, that's just crazy. Super duper crazy. Come on, more plant food. Let's get this here so we can have more lightning read thunderclouds, but I think that's it. Okay, that didn't actually turn out too bad. That was pretty crazy. So day 23 is completed, which means next level will unlock a brand new plant, and the level after that will hopefully defeat Zomboss. Okay, so the tile turnip is up next. Let's get to him right over this way. It's certainly gonna be interesting. Hmm. Okay, so level objective survive while sun bombs fall. This is so tough. I don't like the sun bomb situation. Okay, got lots of interesting plants. We're gonna start off with that. And I think, well there are jetpack zombies, so we'll, we'll do this. Definitely not worth doing the magnifying grass. I know it's a pretty generic strategy at this point, but the lightning read just works sometimes, you know? So we'll try this, we just need to survive so that we can make it to the next item, and then we'll be able to, or the next plant, and then we can just fight Zomboss, and that'll be fun. So I'm thinking I'll probably set up the lightning reeds on the red squares. I thought that'll be good, because the lightning reeds, the placement isn't as important, and being able to have four thunderclouds out at once will be totally, totally amazing. Okay. And they definitely spread out in a way that's worth their while. And we're getting quite a lot of sun rolling in here at first, so that's pretty good too. And already get. And that's gonna, like, where these lightning reeds are on these four squares, they can hit any incoming zombie. I mean, not all four of them at the same time, but at least one of them can hit any incoming zombie. Because they can always hit on the lane above and below them along with the same lane they're on. So it's, it's very effective through throughout the whole thing. So beyond that, I can start putting laser beans on the pluses and that'll hopefully be worth our while. And it won't be perfect, of course, but it'll just be one step better. And then we can start buffing out the rest of the setup, but right now we just need to get the panels figured out. There we go, so we just need one more laser beam before I'm happy with that. This is definitely super stressful, though. Oh gosh, here they come. I'm gonna get the laser beams. Maybe I should've gotten the blover first, or the blover. Let's just do this. There we go. I don't think it's worth doing the EMP just yet, but man, did they spawn those guys back in pretty quickly. Or is he? He's doing a little dance. I thought he was gonna do something, but I guess not. Not yet. <laughs> Let's just freeze him. I don't know why I'm not freezing him already. There we go, now he's frozen. Let's do the laser beam. So a huge wave of zombies is approaching, which is exactly what I've been waiting for. Okay, come on, ready, set, EMP, plant food on this. Do the blover, excellent. So that's going to destroy so many zombies. There's just four of them running around doing tons of damage. It's so good. There we go, that's gonna keep us good for a little bit so I can keep on building out all of our other plants. Can maybe even start doing some infinites. Yep, got that there. Not dealing with you, sir, sorry. But I can freeze ya. Bot swarm coming in. Oh boy, that actually might be a problem. We'll have to wait and see. Oh boy. Come on, hold on tight. Let's get that there. Yes, okay, we got him taken out. That wasn't so bad. Oh boy. So you guys are going. There's a whole grouping of them we can get rid of there. Definitely start freezing these guys. Do a bit of that. I don't know who that's actually gonna land on. I'm, I'm feeling the temptation to use some plant food right now. I don't think it's worth it though. Let's just get some more of these guys set up. That's good. I don't know if the sun bombs is a type of mission that shows up in any other world in PvZ2. I'm hoping it doesn't with how ridiculous this is. Okay, come on, ready? Freeze this guy, I need to freeze him. And then we need to do something about these guys over here. I'm thinking it's time. Let's do all of that. Wowie, wowie indeed. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Get rid of those dudes, that was excellent. Get another plant food, so at least we got a plant food out of that. And we still have three more we can use. So we should be able to handle this. Ready, put that there, get a bunch of coins everywhere. That was great, oh no, that was bad. That was very silly of me. And that should be it, okay, we're fine. We are fine, let's slow them down a little bit more just to be sure of that. Okay, we got it, we're fine, it's done. 
Okay, so what is going on with this? I think this makes panels, so this will be very interesting for sure. Tile turnip creates a power tile. I like it. So, what can we do with the survive while sun bombs fall? Very cool. And, well, that's what we just did. <laughs> and now we got this, of course, it's going to make power tiles. So we got 100 coins. We're over 55,000, by the way. Two magnifying grass experience. Two more of this, we already got him leveled up, so that's great. And we get a bonus five for the Hypno Shroom. We're getting a lot of bonuses like that recently, it's great. Anyways, we are good to move forward. Fight Dr. Zomboss, deny the devious Dr. Zomboss and earn your trophy in this Sunday struggle on far, far future day 25. Very cool. So let's get to it, let's see what's going on. Can only hope we can handle it. It certainly might be a bit stressful. But that's okay. Here he is. Isn't it convenient that your neighbor is so helpful in your fight against us zombies? Crazy David's apparent incompetence is only eclipsed by his usefulness. However, with one secret word, my sleeper agent will turn against you. Oh no! If that's the case, you've had so many opportunities and you've ignored all of them. Listen to me, David. Hypnozombnosis. Hey neighbor. Can I uh, borrow your brains? I mean, hot sauce. <laughs> oh no. Is he gonna turn on us? He's gonna try to eat our brains while we're fighting Zomboss here in his giant robot. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> giant robot in the future level. Okay, this should be cool. I always love fighting Zomboss, so I'm gonna enjoy this. Oh, we got the power up tiles. I'm gonna hold on to them for now until I have a better context of what's going on here. Okay, definitely holding on to the Blover as well. Lots of interesting stuff. There's another power up tile. I'm just gonna try to figure those out once I have a good amount of them. Because right now I don't even have any plant food to use it with. And as you can see, these zombies are moving in quick. Don't you charge, don't you charge. Okay, I thought he was gonna charge and take out our plants already. I was gonna say that was gonna be really quick. He's making a lot of zombies right now. This is crazy. Let's get this set up, set up there. I'm definitely gonna blow him away. Okay, this is becoming a problem real fast. Um, I'll do this. We'll have to see if that's actually more worth my while. Oh, that got me some more. That's good. Uh, let's also do that. Okay, whoa. Got rid of my infinite. I don't like that. Not too much I can do about it at the moment. Just gonna keep going. There we go, there we go. You get that there. Okay, this actually isn't turning out too bad. I mean, it could be better. It can always be better. Okay, you know what? We'll see how that goes. Get more plant food for it. We we'll already have a full row of citron. That's great. And a full row of laser beans. We can get even more. I think I might want to hold on to them for now. But I can certainly do this. I just need more power up piles. <laughs> power up, that's not what they're called. Power up panels, not piles. Okay, ready for this? Let's go for it. And that's beating up Zomboss quite a, quite a lot. We're about to get rid of his first phase here. That's great. Okay, we have a whole setup of plants here. Maybe, I really think that I shouldn't do that though. I should hold on to them because he's gonna start getting rid of more of them soon enough. I know he is. I mean, I might not have a choice here. I really might have to focus down on this. Anyways, gonna use that plant food, see how it goes. Wow, there's more plant food. And even more of it. Okay, he was looking dizzy there. Okay, not bad. We have like a full set of citron here. I just feel like it'd be smart to hold on to it for now. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, wow, okay, there's a gargantuar. I think we're using plant food here. <laughs> there we go. Whoa, there's some more. Yikes, okay, that's not good. But that's why I get more than one of them. Hey, you leave that thing alone. Oh, okay, is he charging? I'm waiting for him to charge because he typically does. I didn't want to use another plant food here, but it's looking like I might have to. Come on. Come on, don't let this happen. Jeez, that actually did not turn out well. Uh, There's not too much I could do about it. Um, Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now go for it. Get him, get that guy. Got him, great, okay. Do this, do this, do this. Because there's some nasty stuff happening over there. Oh no. Wowie. So we got through two of his phases now. I can do some more laser beams over that way. I'm thinking I'm just gonna go crazy with some of these guys. Not all of them, but just some of them. Because I know he's gonna get rid of that. But no, they got rid of the power-up panel as well. That's sort of the worst. 
That's what I mean, he is Zomboss after all. It's sort of his goal to be the worst. There we go. Come on, we can do it. I'm thinking about using this soon. Let's use it now. See ya. No, don't push your plants away, you jerk. I hate those guys so much. Hate's a strong word, I shouldn't use that. I strongly dislike the, the tactic of the helmet zombie guys. That's better. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Let's do this quick, because things are getting nasty. Oh boy, oh boy, use the blubber. There we go, we get another one. Ah, I knew you were gonna do it at some point or another, you finally did it. Oh, you jerk. We'll just put anything, any, anything anywhere goes. Ready for this one? Because I am. This might actually be enough to take him down, actually. Not quite, but definitely enough to damage him a bit more. That's good. Oh, not another set of these darn guys. There we go. Push some of those guys away. Get that figured out. Come on, come on, he's almost down. There it is! See you, Zomboss! Awesome. And there we go. Drop the boss. <laughs> Complete far future. Super cool, we got a futuristic space zombie. I like it. No, oh, that was hypno-amazing. I wanna eat that hypno-taco again. I need my time machine. So he gave Crazy Dave a hypno-taco. What, wait a minute, what was I saying again? I guess us defeating Zomboss broke the effect. Hypnozomnosis, hypnozomnosis, drats. Or was it hypno, or zombno hyp, hypsosis? I don't know, you, I would think somebody as smart as Zomboss would remember. But hey, I guess we all have our blunders. See ya! Okay, so we defeated Far Future, and we get the Far Future trophy. You have defeated Dr. Zomboss's creation, the Zombot Tomorrowtron. And as you can see, we should get some kind of reward for that, some kind of pinata. Awesome, awesome. And as you can see, we got ourselves 500 coins, two laser bean experience, it's gonna make seven out of 50, which is crazy. Two more for the magnifying grass, getting him to nine out of 10, and two more for the infinite. Seven out of 75, that's crazy. And the EMP is gonna get two more, six out of 10, and two more for the tile turn up, somebody I haven't even had the chance to level up yet. And two for the blover, six out of 10, two for the citron, six out of 10 as well. Okay, crazy, crazy stuff. We are good to uh, move out of here and get ourselves some level ups and stuff. So after three jam-packed episodes of Far Future Action, we have defeated Dr. Zomboss, and in the next episode, we will be good to go when it comes to uh, the Endless Mode, which is over this way, right? Yep, the uh, Terror from Tomorrow. We'll be doing another 10 levels in that as per usual. But I think that's just about where I wanna finish things off. We'll go to the Almanac and level up our brand new plant that I didn't get to play as, unfortunately, but maybe at some point we'll be able to. But it was a tile turn up, a thousand coins right here, so. We get our recharge to 9.5 and special cost efficiency up a little bit, whatever that really means, I'm not sure. But hey, that's great. That is another episode completed of Plants vs. Zombies 2. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Robot Zebra. So now you've watched at the end of the you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing and doing the Zebra out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.